So this video is about the Unicos UDR800 digital foropter or digital diffractor. And in this video, we will learn that how we can perform all the tests regarding the subjective reflection on the digital reflector or the digital foropter. So this is the screen, the keyboard of digital reflectors. It has different buttons and settings. You can see the screen over here. and different buttons every button has different settings and if i press the first button which is the menu now you can see the screen carrying different settings like uh, you can see the test results the system configuration edit program edit test edit message gallery and all and if i press the button of test, test result you can see spherical cylinder access addition and visual acuity you can save the history of the patient over here or you can compare the old and new prescription of the patient here and the next one is the system configuration which is important and if i press it you can see the spherical step uh, with one click you want to shift with 0.12 diopter 0.25 diopter or 0.5 diopters so it's settled on 0.25 diopter with one click and the next one is cylindrical form you want cylinder in minus form or in plus form right so minus cylindrical form is always preferable and the next one is cylindrical step you want to change your cylinder with 0 0.25 0 0.5 1 uh, if i put it again one or two diopters or three diopters right and the next one is axis step with one click with one shift the axis will be changed one degree 5 degree 15 degree 30 degree or 45 degree so 5 degree is suitable and now the next is prism step you want to change the prism with 0 0.5 1.0 or 2.0 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 right and now again the menu and the next setting is the edit test you can change your saved test here you can change the history of the patient with these tests right and now again you can see here this is all the saved history of the patient and now again the menu and the next setting is gallery and in the gallery we have color blindness test the Ishihara you can see the near charts absolute agree 3d tests and different charts of the eye and if I click on the Ishihara chart you can see these beautiful images is for the color blindness and the next one is the different charts of the eyes you can see here here's different structures of the eyes right and we have different definitions like myopia hypermetropia astigmatism and we have different near charts for different purposes in the next videos we will learn about the functions of these different charts which are near charts you can see different charts here and now again the amsler grid you know the amsler grid for the detection of the visual field and we have different we have in the black color as well this is amsler grid test these are 3d tests and you can see the 3d charts 3d for the 3d tests and the next one is eye diseases these are different definitions of emetropia myopia hypermetropia astigmatism cataract glaucoma so if i click on the emetropia or the normal vision you can see the definition and here's the myopia you can see here the distance is blurred and near is clear and you know very well in myopia near is always clear right and in hypermetropia you can see the near vision is blurred and the distance vision is clear and here's the definition of the farsightedness and now next is the print you can simply print out your prescription and the next one is the reset button this reset setting after prescribing the best corrected prescription to the patient suppose the best correction is minus 2 in both eyes in the right and in the left 
so if you want to check the new patient you will reset the all settings of this machine of this refractor so you click on the reset and do you want to clear and you will say okay and you can see the whole system is resetting itself right and the next is load and if you press this button you can see you can load your data over here from one setting to another setting right and the next is lamp if you want to check the near prescription your lamp should be on and the next is lock and if you press this lock button the screen will be locked you cannot unlock this you can unlock the screen with your desire and the next is you can see this is right eye this is right spherical right cylinder access addition and this is visual acuity and the prisms right and uh, this is for the left the same spherical cylinder and axis addition and all and now this is important setting if I press if I can press it oh the screen is locked I think as you can see I'm, I'm unable to change the setting if my screen is locked now unlock the screen and you can see the setting over here this is plano lens right this is occluder right and if I press you see the left eye is occluded right now right and again you can see the left eye is occluded and now I open the both eyes now right and left are open and if I click on the right eye you can change the settings over here of the right eye and if I click of this button right this is occluded the right eye is occluded again and left eye is open right now and now again the next setting is CC this CC is cross cylinder actually right you can perform the cross cylinder over here we will learn about the cross cylinder that how we can find axis of the astigmatism right of the cylinder power of the cylinder with the cross cylinder in our upcoming next videos and the next is six prism diopter you can sh uh, set the six prism diopter over here or six prism and the next is the cylindrical striations you know it very well the medox rod over here you can see in the red color the cylindrical striations right and again we will learn about the medox rod in the next videos and this is pinhole and if I click over here you can see the pinhole is settled in the concerned eye and now again these are plus 1.5 fogging lenses you can say or additional lenses and now we will discuss about this is for PD the IPD right this is near PD and this is for distance PD right and now we will learn that how we can maintain the patient's PD right so now the setting is at 4 PD you see the centration lenses are settled before the both eyes you can see in the screen right so here are the centration lenses before the patients and you can see this is increasing the IPD of the patient and now the IPD is settled and now you can shift your IPD you can change the IPD and this is for near and you see right this is this is for near PD right because in near PD we need always convergence and this is outer reading suppose our spherical correction is 0.75 or 0.5 the cylindrical correction is 0.25 minus and axis are 50 degree and the spherical equivalent is minus 0.75 right so in the left eye the spherical correction is 0.5 minus with minus 0.25 cylinder and XSR 85 
and the spherical equivalent is minus 0 0.75 and the PD is 61 millimeter and these are KR reading or gratometer readings and now the PD is 61 we have settled our PD right and now this is left eye my screen is on right and the top letter is T right A and now I can change the lenses before my eyes one eye is occluded one eye is open right so you can see over here this is occluded eye and this is open eye so I will re refract my open eye which is right eye so my spherical correction is 0 0.75 which is auto ref reading right so now I will simply rotate my rotator you can see when I am rotating this the power is changing before the eye you can change the power you can increase or decrease the power you can see power is decreasing right now right and I will change the optotypes size right you can see this is 6 by 8.6 .6 line which is last line on the screen and uh, now my cylindrical correction is 0 0.25 and axes are 50 degree so my patient's pose is corrected at minus 0 0.75 spherical and axis are 50 I have settled my axis right so I will click on the cylinder and I can change the axis my axis are 50 degree as you can see over here and now I will shift my cylinder I will change my cylindrical power now I'm rotating this knob and you can see the cylindrical power is changing I can increase or decrease the power right you can see the power is changing before my open eye right so my spherical correction is 0.75 suppose my cylindrical correction is minus 1.25 according to the patient and axis are 50 degree and now I will go for the left eye I will occlude my I will open the left eye and now I'll occlude the right eye and now the refraction will get started in the left eye with the same procedure and suppose this is spherical correction I clicked on the spherical correction in the left eye and power is changing you can change the power now I will change the axis and the corrected axis are 50 degree and now I will change the power the required power which is minus 0 0.5 or according to the requirement of the patient this is binocular PIN when I will click this binocular button you can see the both eyes are open now right so if you want to give a near vision prescription addition of the patient you will simply click on the addition and here's the near vision chart and this is the working distance you can put your reading chart at desired working distance of the patient and suppose the desired working distance of the patient is 40 centimeter and we can change we have many options in the near vision charts we will discuss about later and here is the near vision chart right and you can shift your addition power you can see the power is changing 0 0.751 1 1.25 1 1.5 1 1.75 2 2.5 you can change the power so so I hope all the concepts regarding the digital foropter are clear. In the next recent videos, we will learn that how we can perform different tests like how we can perform the Jackson cross cylinder or how we can perform the cross cylinder or how we can perform the Medox rod, how we can perform the uh, process of the pinhole, the stenopic slit on the digital foropter. We'll see you in the next videos.